Well, uh, my name is Raj Rewal, an archetype. I'm very happy to be in Chennai and to see the changes during the last 10 years. So our major problem is uh, our city's uh, rapid transformation caused by two things. One, by large number of people coming to the cities and also because, because we are becoming uh, much more affluent. So we have many more cars, we have many more, uh, uh, we require many more facilities. So these two twin problems, rising expectations of the people who are living in a city and the rising number of people who are coming from outside, how to accommodate it in a very short period is the challenge to the ad people who govern the cities, to the architects and urbanists. So my advice to the people who are governing our cities is to please put the architects and urbanists in a position of power so they can tackle these problems in a very professional manner. So far, the situation is like this, that the, uh, let's say, the governance the people may be very astute politicians, they may be very good administrators in many respects, but the problems of urban governance needs to be done by urbanists, town planners and architects. So please give them the chance. Sure. I'm uh, Jimmy Lim, from architect from Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Yes? Yeah, we will come, sir. You can continue. Thank you. You can tell them, like, uh, uh, the purpose and all those things. Oh, you come to well, I'm here to give a talk. And my talk is going to be, are Asians capable to become leaders in the global context after the COVID-19? Because with the COVID-19, it's a reset on the world. Because the world was put asleep for two years by forces beyond our control. So, what has architects got to do with COVID-19? Architects, in a way, together with develop the building industry, can play a small role. And I think it's very important that Asians show that we can be global leaders. And India, from what I see, this trip seems to have awakened. And I think there's a lot of energy and a lot of intelligent people it's a question of harnessing all the intelligent people together think together and network across asia i think by doing that we can start to get the asians to be global leaders because the singapore former former for, uh, foreign minister and permanent representative in the un Mr. Kishore Mabubani have said, can Asians be global leaders? And I think that's a challenge he's thrown to us all Asians, and especially to India, since Kishore is an Indian, but in origin. Yeah.